What's up, everybody? I can't believe it's that time again. We're at the end of quarter three already for 2024. So we're going to do another quarterly update, take a round around the ecosystem, let you hear from the different voices. But before we do, I kind of want to tell you a really cool like story that's been playing out over the last several months. Um, so long, for some time, way beyond just the last few months, we've had a staff member who spouse and four children, as long with this staff, have been living in a hotel room. And unfortunately, they're not making enough with us and other places to acquire like both first and last month, deposit, and there's some other challenges. And we've been working with them trying to figure out stable, secure housing. Um, and it's been just such a challenge with the environment in Tampa. It's getting harder and harder to attain, the, to have attainable housing for folks. And then we get a phone call about three months ago from longtime partners with the Living Loving team. This is a realtor team, women that have been working with and giving to us for quite some time. They call us up and say, listen, we got a weird situation. There's a homeowner, friend of ours, bought a home to kind of take her first kind of foray into the rental game, ended up in a really bad situation. Rented to someone that ended up not paying rent, went through a very ugly eviction process. Uh, the people that were there ended up trashing um, the house. So it needs a tremendous amount of repairs. She's still on the hook for the mortgage payments. All of this stuff needs to get done and she's looking at maybe losing this house. And so we were able to kind of take these two stories and bring them together where this family and, and some of our community have been able to like do a lot of the work on the home, build a relationship with this homeowner who's very nervous about a rental, but to say, look, we, we have family here, relationships, and that will bring these together. And actually as of like next week, this family will be moving into this home that we've done all the work on, it's passing inspections, we're waiting on like a final couple things. And actually on that first and last month, deposit and all of those things, um, we've partnered with Just Initiative, who's been working with this family uh, to pull together some of the rapid rehousing funds that are available and are actually gonna be able to help. Uh, I think there's some grants and things locally that they're gonna be able to help with that person last month deposit so that they can kind of get in. And it's just a win, win, win situation for our staff to be stable, their family to be stable, for this homeowner to keep their home. And it's just such a great illustration of the kind of thing we pray to see more and more of in our city. So I just wanted to share that story with you and hopefully you'll hear some more cool stories as we kind of make the round. So let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome to the Well Built Bikes Quarter 3 Report. Um, this quarter, we have given away over $6,200 through our Earn a Bike program. Um, we've also given away over $3,400 in our sliding scale repairs. Um, we have a new addition to our team. That would be Tyler. Tyler has been a great addition to our mechanical team as well as our admin services. This quarter, we've also had great success with our Food RX program. Just yesterday, we had an elderly couple come in and they were very appreciative for the services that we provide here. Now let's hear a word from Nick. Here at Well Built Bikes, I think I speak for myself as well as the other mechanics when I say we take a lot of pride in servicing bikes that other bike shops would turn away due to costs and extended efforts. We see some pretty crazy things here and get a lot of good experience from those things. We see everything from butter knives and bottle cages, severe rust, seized bottom brackets, you name it. And sometimes it takes more than one mind to get to the solution. So we actually develop some really good teamwork skills from that. And speaking of teamwork, we've had two really great volunteers start coming in this month. One of them being from the United Kingdom, the other one is Joaquin from Uruguay. He's got a bike shop in his house. He's a mechanic for his town. Um, and he's also a really talented musician. Even though we don't speak the same language, we're great friends and we go mountain biking together. I'm showing him around the trails here. And uh, yeah, we're a pretty tight knit family here at Well Built Bikes. And that was our quarterly check-in. We'll see you next time. Hey y'all, hey. I am super excited to bring to you the WellFed third quarter report as a representative of the Food Ambassador Program. Um, it has been a great quarter filled with a lot of amazing exci excitement and exciting events. Um, we've done a seed swap, which was our biggest seed swap so far. We had about 40 people come through. Um, we did um, exchanging of plants and seeds and tools and anything pretty much garden related, including knowledge, was shared on that day. We have had our workshops. Um, we have about 12 consistent participants of that program attending our workshops. 
And then we also have our community dinners and those have been heavily attended as well. So we are super excited with the way that the quarter turned out and we are looking forward to growing some more for the next quarter. Welcome to your quarter three 2024 Kinship Free Market update. I am very happy to report that this past quarter, despite lots of logistical challenges in the way of hurricanes, we were able to distribute 63,000 pounds of food to just over 3,000 families, which is pretty notable because it's really not that far from the numbers of previous quarters that we've had so far this year. So I'm proud of us for working through the challenges from the hurricane and continuing to get food out to people in areas of the community who were very affected by some of the bad, bad weather recently. Uh, I want to give a logistical update. We, of course, are still riding high on our excitement from last year of getting a brand new truck to pull our trailer. However, at this point, it is time to replace our trailer. It's just on its last legs and our loads are just getting, we're getting bigger loads of donations, which means that it's pulling more weight and we just need to replace it sooner rather than later. So John Dangler is doing what he can do to get a new trailer for us. Hopefully we will have a new trailer in the rotation sooner rather than later. Um, I wanted to um, offer a personal note. I am, after lots of prayer and lots of crying, I have decided to step down from this position on November 1st. That will be, be my last day. Um, I have worked as the operations manager for WellBuilt for just over two years. And I've been deeply, deeply thankful every single day for this experience. I consider it, um, I consider it a necessary experience that I've had. It's been transformative for me. Um, I have been so honored to work with a team of people who are supportive, who are genuine, who make coming to work something that I want to do, something that I look forward to doing. Um, it's been my favorite job that I've ever had and I don't want to step down. I am stepping down because my body is asking me to. It's very, very physical work. I have um, spent a lot of blood, sweat, and tears literally over the past two or so years getting this job done. And um, I just have to take a step back and, and rest. And so I will be doing that starting on November 1st. I volunteered for about three years before I actually took a paid position. And I do plan to continue volunteering um, once I step down from the paid position. I don't know exactly what days I will be volunteering. It's just going to depend on what my schedule looks like going forward, but I will be volunteering at least once a week like I was doing previously. So I'm looking forward to doing that. And I just wanna say thank you. I wanna say thank you to you for watching the quarter updates every quarter. I'm tickled to be able to share the numbers that I share with you. Um, I talk a lot about my job to anybody who will listen, but being able to share numbers and see growth actually happening um, from quarter to quarter is really exciting and it makes things seem more solid and tangible. So um, thank you for being here for the quarter updates and listening to me talk about the numbers of people that we serve and how many pounds of food we've distributed. Um, I want to say thank you to um, everybody that I've worked with. I've never, I, as I said a moment ago, I've never had a team of people who have been this extraordinary to work with. John Dangler, Dahlia, John Davis have all been indescribable in, in terms of just their support and their enthusiasm for the work. I mean, people who do this job are doing it because we really, really want to. And it's very, very evident when you work with this group of people every single day, it's very evident that they're doing it because they want to do it. And I'm so thankful for that experience. And I also want to say thank you to the volunteers who have provided countless, countless hours to me. I, there is no way that I would be able to do this job if I didn't have very solid, regular teams of volunteers who show up and get the work done in the middle of the heat, in the middle of the rain, post hurricane. It's really phenomenal to see such a wide range of volunteers. I have volunteers 
you know, college students, 18, 19 years old. I have volunteers who are, you know, little old ladies. I am so amazed to see how many people are so committed to showing up every single week and helping me run these markets. So I want to say thank you to the volunteers. And I want to say thank you to the market patrons. I have made such phenomenal friendships with the people that I serve. I have had connections with people that I would have never had connections with before. Members of the community that I just would have never had opportunity to connect with and engage with in the way that I connect and engage when I'm running the markets. Um, and it's been transformative. It's just been such a wonderful experience that I'm so deeply thankful for. And I just want to end by saying that I want to see this work not only continue, but to thrive. It's so important for it to continue and to thrive. And I will be doing whatever I can within my capacity on a volunteer level to continue seeing this work happen the way that it needs to. I love these, don't you love these? I love hearing from everybody. And what we're trying to do here and what we're always trying to do is share our values and our vision for our city, to see our city made whole. And I've had some really cool opportunities throughout the quarter um, with our partnership with Homegrown Hillsborough, who's running monthly summits. Um, I had the opportunity to MC a panel on complimentary food systems, which was an amazing chance to kind of like navigate through a conversation with some local kind of farmers and leaders. And then I got invited back to a community nutrition panel at one of the other summits where I got to come in as a panelist and share about our Food RX program uh, that we're doing in partnership with Feeding Tampa Bay and Tampa Family Health up at Wobo Bikes. That was an incredible opportunity. Um, I've been having some cool opportunities to work on a couple different subject matter that I've been working on over the years. So kind of what I've called like walking with the poor material of um, how to be in relationship with the poor and then also just some like healthy relationships, boundaries, codependency type stuff that I've been going through for a while. And I was invited in by Just Initiative to do like an all day training with their staff team. So they had their board, their staff. So these are like social workers, people that are just in the game, working with folks throughout the city, doing amazing work. Those are the ones that helped with that family I told you about in the beginning. And I just did this all day, where I, all day kind of training with them where we walked through like healthy relationships with vulnerable populations. And then I've been reworking that to do a Sunday school series, like an adult Sunday school series with a local church, Bayshore Baptist. Um, that's been incredible. We're about halfway through that series right now. Um, but it's, we called it Created to be Free. And it's a little more of a theological look at these things where we're talking about poverty, God's heart for the poor, relationship and being in healthy relationships, and then true liberation, which we're really excited about that. And then I don't think we talk about enough here, uh, Tampa Talk and Word on the Streets. You know, we put out every week, every Friday morning, we have a newsletter that comes out called Word on the Streets. It's kind of a update of what's been going on around Tampa and kind of uh, here's some things that are coming up this weekend. They're not all our stuff, but like we love our city. We want people to be engaged civically. And we're like, here, here's what's going on. Keep your finger on the pulse of what's going on around town. And then for those of you who aren't into reading or maybe you want to do it on your drive, your commute in, um, we also release what we call Tampa Talk, which is like the audio campaign where we talk through some of the news stories, share a little bit about this week and the work from us. Um, and also just say like, here's what's going on and some maybe cool things you want to check out over the weekend. Uh, you should totally check those out. Word on the streets.xyz is where you can subscribe to the newsletter. That newsletter does come with a link to the podcast, but if you want to go straight to the podcast, you can do that at tampatalk.xyz. Um, really want to invite you to subscribe to both of those, to share those, to help us kind of grow that, to share stories with us that should be in that as well. Um, we just want to continue to grow that effort uh, to tell the story of our city in a regular basis. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop there. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. Thank you for listening throughout this update. Um, continue to give us some feedback on how we can communicate better with you. And I would like to invite you to continue to support our work. Uh, you can do that at wellbuilt.city. Uh, Till next time, love y'all.